Hello, all my servers, ladies and ladies out there. How's it going, Brad Wheel, and also known as JimmyJ57, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Ride. Now, today we're doing the Impont Phoenix as our uh, car here, and I haven't done the, I did this one a while back, and not gonna lie, it was one of the earlier episodes of Pimp My Ride, kind of butchered the car. So I, f I felt like I could do it better a second time around. First of all, check out that sick jester there, just, you know, chilling outside Los Angeles Customs. Anyway, we're gonna take this car inside, we're gonna fully pimp it out, and then we're gonna take it outside, see it in the bright, shiny sun. And you sirs can then tell me what you think, and of course, then you can comment down below with what car you want me to do next time, that kind of stuff. I found this car on the road. It, uh, it's hard to find sometimes. It just doesn't come into spawn for a really long time. So I saw the opportunity, and I took it, and I figured I could do a lot better on this car now than I did last time, so let's get started. All right, so we'll max out armor and brakes, of course. Now, there's lots of modifications on this car. It's one of the reasons I like it. Um, so do you want the extended chin or the custom chin? on this car so I think I think I like the custom chin better that looks pretty cool it just sticks out a little farther get that custom chin on there engine will max out of course exhaust now for the exhaust let's get that out of our face all right now then now we can see more clearly we got the big bore or we have the titanium tuner exhaust so I feel like the big bore kind of fit into the car more these ones are just like massive and then there's just the stock exhaust this is hard I almost like the stock exhaust better, just the two tubes, they fit nicely in the back there. This, It just seems a little too big. Um, you know, I'm trying to see. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to try the big bore. I'm going to try the big bore for this one. Alright, now onto the grill, we can get the iron mask right in the front. Um, I, think I, I think I like it better with the grill actually showing there, so I'm just going to leave that stock. The hood, we have the hood, which is pretty cool for, like, mandatory for any muscle car to have some kind of hood customization going on so we have the triple intake and the single intake both classic on pretty much most muscle cars in this game so i don't know the induction hood is pretty cool so are these though i don't know which one i'd want um i almost want to just go with the induction hood the the car would look good with any of these three and i don't think i've ever used the cowl induction hood so you know what? i'm gonna go for that this time uh horns gonna bypass that headlights we're gonna go xenon lights neon kit i'm gonna throw front back and sides on now do not know the color yet so i'll come back to that later if i feel that the car needs a neon kit color on it if not it just brightens up the underside of the car it looks great either way um yellow and black plate next now onto the respray so this is the part where it gets interesting so i think i have an idea for this car um, I think I, I know what I want to do on it. It's some sort of red, but not one of the bright reds. Let's see what the darker reds. I think it might be wine red that I'm going to use. Let's see. All right, so we go wine red. Now onto pearlescence for it. Um, Fitster pink and hot pink are a little bright. Uh, bright orange kind of looks cool. The normal orange even looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to keep going down the list. See what we got here. We got dew yellow. Um, lime green. That looks interesting with the wine red. They uh, kind of clash a little bit. The blue looks nice, actually. The blue doesn't look bad. Um, what else do we have for The last thing I think I can think of that look good is purple. Uh, it's kind of mediocre. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put another red on it. I'm going to put a red on red, and there we go. All right, so now for the secondary color, I do... I think I want to keep the white. I think it would be better than the black. So that's black. Yeah, you can't even see it with the pearlescent. So the white looks nice. Um, I don't know if... Ah, yes. I think the matte white actually looks better than the metallic white. So I'm going to put that on the car. And I think we're done for colors. Um, I don't know. For the neon, I think I might leave the neon white since the secondary color of the car is white. Just kind of like accent there. Uh, now we're on to the roof. We can get a glass roof, which it's pretty cool. But... I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if it's just the paint job or something, but it just doesn't look right with this car. So I'm going to leave the stock roof on. Skirts, we can get the custom skirt. Of course, that looks awesome. Uh, spoiler. Now, this is the big catch for this car, is the spoiler. Not the mid-level, but the high-level spoiler. It's just, it's one of a kind in this game. No other car has this high-level spoiler like this. So I'm going to... I'm going to put the high-level spoiler on, of course. I think it looks cool. It just reminds me of the, uh, the Cars movie. And um, what's... Oh, what's the guy's name? I can't think of the car in the movie Cars that has this, that's this type of car. If, if you guys can comment down below with what uh, what the guy's name is in the movie. The all, like, fluorescent blue car. Damn, I can't think of it. Uh, maybe it'll come to me by the end of the video. Anyway, suspension, we'll put that on. Transmission, of course. A turbo tuning, yes. And wheels. Now, it is a muscle car, so we're going to want some muscle wheels on this thing here. Which ones to get? 
is the question. Um, those ones are pretty nice. Um, I don't know, I do like the mecha wheels. For muscle, I've always liked mecha. Uh, which ones? Those Those are pretty nice. Um, I think... Hmm. The muscle... I don't think I've ever used these wheels. I'm going to try putting them on. Uh, color, I think... How dark are the reds? Yeah, and the red's pretty bright for those. And then white probably will look bad. Let's uh, let's go back up to the white and see what it looks like real quick. Um, yeah. so I think I'm gonna leave it just a kind of yeah. I'm gonna leave it the um, anthracite black. Anthracite? Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Anthracite black. And then we're gonna go custom tires, bulletproof tires, and a red tire smoke. And all we have left is windows, limo tint, and we're good to go. Let's take this beauty outside and check it out. Alright, here's our Impont Phoenix, all pimped out and looking pretty stylish. I love that spoiler, it's just, it, like I said, it's just one of a kind, like in this game there's no other car with that spoiler, so once it, when you get the opportunity you just kind of have to take it. It's just really cool. That lady didn't deserve to live anyway, don't worry about her. Alright, whoa, that guy was speeding, what the fuck was his deal? Anyway, that concludes this episode of GTA 5 Pimp My Ride, I hope you sirs enjoyed it. I hope this time I did better than the last time with the Impont uh, Phoenix. I think last time, I think last time I ended up using a Chrome or something on it. I I don't know where my mind was. It was just out, it was just out the window. It's I I don't know. Now that I'm seeing that video, it's it'd be horrible. But anyway, I hope I did a lot better this time for you, sirs. And I hope you enjoyed it. You guys can tell me if you have the Impont Phoenix and what colors you used on it. I used to have one online, but I haven't for a long time now. So any of you that still do, you can tell me what color combinations you used on your own Impont Phoenix. I would be interested to know because there's just so many combinations that do look good on this car. So I thank you sir, so much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will have lots more GT5 Pimp My Ride and other such videos coming out for you sir, soon. Thanks for so much for watching. And as always... Have a good day.